so with Sean the, Johnson. the World Cup did kick off with, uh, uh, with Qatar versus Ecuador. They 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 rescheduled this match. Remember, they wanted uh, Qatar wanted their 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 own day, uh, and for, they got it for this. Gianni and Infantino and- said no, <laughs> uh, and they did it. Then uh, Gianni Infantino said, "You can't stop selling Budweiser at the game," and they did it. <laughs> and then, but we didn't even talk about Gianni Infantino's super weird uh, conference. Oh, that's right. The today, today I feel gay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today I feel black. Today I feel a migrant worker. <laughs> and he said he understands discrimination because he was a redhead with freckles. <laughs> But the man has both no hair or freckles left. So bro. discrimination over, bro. A long time ago. Yo, you lying? I think I'm I think we're being catfished by Johnny yeah. and Dino, bro. Yo, so you you look like a movie villain now, but the movie villain you used to look like was the Chucky doll? <laughs> That's what you tell me. Bro, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I, I don't know where I'm swiping on this dude because this is I'm confused, bro. No, it was it was odd. And at first I thought like, oh, he must be doing this to kind of throw it in the Qataris' faces for them switching up the whole Budweiser thing. And the rumor is that he's sort of lost control of this tournament, that Qataris now control it, which isn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to be a FIFA event. And I thought that's where it was going. But then he used it to say, like, this is why you shouldn't discriminate (laughs) against the Qataris. Yeah. I mean, it was so confusing. There have been there's been so much. um of the uh, you know journalists trying to film in certain places, there's uh, f- friends of ours that are that are trying to just like take video or and photograph in, in, in around Doha and do their right. jobs. Like, and and, and, and here we are today, standing outside. And, nope, we're going to jail. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know you and you see like uh, uh, Qatari uh, officials or 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 police officers telling people like yo you can't film here and all this other stuff and 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 that that's how it is like. You know, you this is this is not new. This tactic of like, oh no, you know what? Give us the World Cup. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, you know, whatever. Like, you well, beer, beer. Come on, what? What's a country without beer? What's a World Cup without beer? And then two days before the World Cup, we got beer. (laughs) We just ain't gonna let you buy it. But (laughs) but we got it. (laughs) We got it. We didn't say you didn't say anything about buying it. We have it. You said you want to consume it. It was that. I should have heard that. (laughs) They highlighted that point that so beer is not available at the stadiums, but the but they are in like the luxury suites, which are like nineteen thousand euros per ticket or something like that. Like whatever. I mean, it's it's it is what it is, bro. Like like if you're not part of the 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 wealthy elite, you you can't you can't even get have a sip of the Budweiser. They're not even giving giving you a little bit of it, which is. Kind of ironic <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> it's incredible. So the uh, but yeah, that, that seems to be the, look leading up to up to the, the to the mat, the first match today. Hearing all these stories about journalists getting uh, stopped uh, from doing their jobs and and the beer uh, uh, not being available at stadiums and it was just all popped up a couple of days before the tournament. Uh, and, and it just leads to just more examples of why obviously the world cup probably shouldn't be there. Um, maybe well, this see, is some with, sort of lesson for the future. Uh, probably not. It, it's, nope. it's not a lesson. Who, and no who, one's going to be mad at. Ain't no one going to learn from this, bro. They're going <laughs> to get paid again. Uh, I do have a question for you though. Did it kind of, because the world cup isn't starting with like multiple matches in one day and, you know, there there's all this sort of additional stuff that you have to sort of consider before even watching it. Did it feel different for you? Did you enjoy it less? Um, I, I don't think it had anything to do with not it not being multiple matches. I mean, I think the the heavy handedness of like the opening ceremony of like the constantly preaching unity and respect. And we're all different tribes that are here to learn from each other. I'm like, all right, I, I mean, I get what you're doing. It's not, right. it's, you know, you, you can't hide th- this. I mean, the, the criticism I think is fair of, of, of everything going on in the world cup. And, and just like Infantino's press conference, where he's basically just pleading with everybody, like stop criticizing Qatar. The world cup is here. It was decided 12 years ago. Let's just basically go move on with our lives and do what we got to do. And it's right. not just going to wrap the world cup is not just going to wrap up with like 
wow, Qatar, what a beautiful city. We didn't know about this city. And then we didn't know ab uh, about this country. And look how cool it is. How they put on, it's not just, it's not, it shouldn't just be a, a PR tourism board, uh, you know, or, or, or campaign for for Qatar like this fair criticism and they and he has to deal with it i mean he 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 i i don't know how much involved he was in the war he you know he wasn't the fifa president at the time no. but you can't just be like to stop criticizing qatar that that's not that cannot be the move and that's not a good representation of of, of the the president of fifa I mean, it reminds me of when my mother would like pull me out of like a family party and she'd be like, look, we don't like these people either. OK, but <laughs> we have to be at this party. And then and if you're good, if you're good, we'll leave and go to McDonald's. OK, <laughs> but for now, can you just please just right. put a smile on and get through the event? And that's kind of it's like two families who don't like each other and their children are marrying. And one of them's name is Alexis and the other one is Donna. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. this is kind of like the, this is look. Let's just get through the reception, bro. All right. Yeah. So uh, so let's talk about the game real quick. Obviously, Qatar did uh, uh, lose to uh, Ecuador. Uh, I'm, I don't have an Ecuador kit, but I'm rocking my Colombia kit because it's the closest thing I have. Right. Uh, right. And All Ecuador, the flags are the same color. <laughs> Ecuador was uh, la, la, la Gran Colombia uh, at mm -hmm. one point. Um, so the uh, uh, so. The, so Ecuador, uh, uh, dominant, Ed Valencius uh, gets uh, two goals. And, and I, the, the, the weird thing to me, and I think we, we spoke about this on the show. I don't know if it was you or somebody else. I, I think Ecuador is going to do fairly well in this World Cup. And for some reason, some people don't think they were because because of the, the, the you know, they play in Coma Bowl and blah, blah, blah. They only play the same teams or whatever, but the same teams are Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, uh, uh, Colombia, the gigantic, absolute right. powerhouses. The teams in, everyone in else World fears football. are the teams they have to constantly play. <laughs> so, uh, but also, I mean, you got to see how strong defensively they were. Um, I think they're, what, the third best defensive team in the in the tournament so they're clearly to be feared and they if you got in valencia this dude will score onside offside upside downside bro dude, yeah. this dude will score I mean, the, uh, goals that were turned uh that that were turned back uh or taken back by var which i thought were fair i, I think there was one that was a little bit controversial but i you know i i, I don't think it was going to make much of a difference m m the, my main takeaway from this game was guitar is bad I, and and they played in the Gold Cup, and that's when you know I saw them for the first time, and they were pretty good in the in the Gold Cup, but maybe against Concacaf competition, maybe that's sort of the level that they're at. Um, but they they looked they looked. I, I wouldn't say that they just simply look bad. I would say that they looked nervous. 